Now that we can import many files into individual data frames, let's investigate sharing information between data frames using their indexes. This is essential for combining data frames later, as indexes are the means by which data frame rows are labeled. Let's make a brief note on terminology. The plural of index in English can be indexes or indices. Both are acceptable usage. Let's adopt the convention of using indices as the plural of index when referring to individual labels within an index data structure. By contrast, we can use indexes as the plural of index with reference to many index data structures associated with several pandas series or data frames. This is not a standard convention, but it helps us resolve ambiguity in thinking about, say, sets of indices within many indexes. To start, let's load two data frames of temperature data recorded from Pittsburgh in 2013. For both calls to read CSV, we use the index call argument to specify which column becomes the data frame index, month in both cases. Remember, the index is a privileged column in Pandas, providing convenient access to series or data frame rows. We can examine our data frames WMEAN and WMAX more closely. The mean temperature F and max temperature F columns are, respectively, the average and maximum daily temperatures in Fahrenheit observed during three-month intervals or quarters. For both data frames, the column month is the data frame index. The month listed in each index row is the first month of each quarter. By virtue of how the CSV files are sorted, the index of W mean is in alphabetical order, while the index of W max is in chronological order. The former gives a distorted sense of time dependent trends. The data frame indexes are accessed directly with the dot index attribute. Both W mean and W max have indexes of type object because the index labels are strings. The type function shows us the data type of the indexes. We can define a list called ordered to impose a deliberate ordering on the index labels of WMEAN. The data frame reindex method creates a new data frame WMEAN2 with the same data as WMEAN but with a new row ordering according to the input list ordered. We can see that WMEAN2 has the desired chronological ordering. The original alphabetically ordered data frame can be recovered with the data frame sort index method. Pandas index labels are typically sortable data, such as numbers, strings, or date times. The input argument to the reindex method can also be another data frame index. For instance, here we use the index from WMAX to reindex WMEAN in chronological order. When a suitably indexed data frame is available, the reindex method spares us having to create a list manually or having to sort the index. The specific index labels provided to the reindex method are important. For instance, if we invoke reindex again using an input list containing a label that is not in the original data frame index, December in this case, an entirely new row is inserted and filled with the null value NAN or not a number. We can also use reindex to see where data frame rows overlaps. For instance, here, we reindex WMAX with the index of WMEAN3, showing that WMAX does not have a row labeled December either. Using the method dropNA removes entire rows in which null values occur. This is a common first step when merging data frames. Finally, we should realize that order counts. That is, wmax.reindex of wmean.index is not the same as wmean.reindex of wmax.index. The latter fixes the row order as desired in wmean. The former replicates the misleading alphabetical row order in wmax. This is likely not desired. Try reindexing data frames now in some of the exercises.